Hi friend, and welcome to another chat on fire. I wanted to tell you a story about how a Chinese American boy who had a 4.2 GPA in high school, who took a bunch of AP classes, was one of the valedictorians, who had a perfect score on the math section of the SAT, great recommendation letters from his teachers, a boy who woke up every single day at 5.45 a.m. to do a three hour round trip commute to and from school, in a crowded school bus, who volunteered at the hospital on weekends, who helped his dad work in construction, did not get into Harvard, Yale, or Columbia, or Princeton, or MIT, or UPenn. Was it because I was Asian? Did I not do enough extracurriculars? Actually, it was much more basic than that. I never believed in myself enough to get in. I was so scared of rejection that I never even bothered applying. You see, I grew up in East LA and didn't think that would fit in in those places. But looking back, I'm a bit disappointed in myself for ever thinking that way. So let's talk about attitude today. Attitude and mindset are the core fundamentals needed to build your identity and who you want to become. Naysayers may say, well, there is way more than that that is needed, like what opportunities you're given or well, your background and what you're born into determine where you end up in life. And to that I say, yeah, that's partially true. However, dwelling on your own disadvantages or someone else's advantages in life won't actually make your life any better. It may make you feel better about why success hasn't come yet, but it won't actually bring success. I want you to pick out any advantages that you have and work with them. The solution to most of our problems is action. And you can only take action if you're able to visualize success, whatever success may mean for you. Did you know that 97% of millionaires believe that they are in control of their own destiny, while only 55% of the general population believes that they are in control? So let's talk about opportunities. What I find to be the most important about opportunities is that we actually have to go out and bring the opportunities to ourselves. Opportunities rarely just fall onto our laps or come knocking at your door. You have to go out and advertise the most amazing product, and that product is you. For the high school boy I mentioned, I didn't even give myself any remote chance of getting into the Ivy Leagues, which is as simple as just sending in an application. A lot of times we are our own worst enemy when we think to ourselves that we aren't good enough and don't even allow ourselves to fail. A lot of people call themselves perfectionists. And let me tell you what I think about some perfectionists. They're so caught up on what they think others would think about their work or are so scared of disapproval that they start feeling insecure, inadequate, and find it hard to get anything done. Now, if you're, type, if you're the type of perfectionist that does great work and expects great work, then great. You treat any failures as learning opportunities rather than an indication that you yourself are a failure. And for that, I salute you. But if you find it difficult to push out a product or are afraid of rejection of your work, well, let's fix that because that could seriously be holding you back in life. First, surround yourself with people that can provide you with constructive feedback without hurting your feelings. Sometimes we're afraid of trying new things because we are scared that we won't be good at them. And let me tell you, most of the time, anyone who tries something totally new doesn't usually get it right away. Anything worth doing takes practice, it takes time, whether that is eating healthy or getting into a good workout routine or learning a new sport or a new skill. Having a supportive partner or a supportive group of friends is definitely super helpful in this situation. Remember, just like investing in stocks, when you invest in yourself, think about the compound interest concept. The beginning takes a lot of work. You may not see results for a while, but getting started and keeping at it is the most important thing. So give yourself a chance. Go easy on yourself, and you may be surprised how far this alone will get you. Let me give you another example of how powerful mindset really is. So in medical school, we have this class called Doctoring where they literally teach you how to act like a doctor. And initially, that's what it feels like, acting. 
we have plenty of other classes that teach us about science, anatomy, pharmacology, and how to evaluate good sources of reliable information. But some say that doctoring was the most important class. While the other classes are for learning the medical knowledge to build your confidence, doctoring class taught us how to act the part, how not to feel like an imposter. We all had to wear our little white coats, put on our business attire, and practice with acting patients. Initially, it definitely felt like we were imposters, but with time, it gets more comfortable the more that you can believe that you are what you will become. So, I want you to believe that you are deserving of success, that you are deserving of financial freedom, that you are going to be financially literate. Whatever it is that you want to do, whether it is asking for a raise or getting a better job or going back to school, you have to believe in yourself first. I need you to stop believing that certain people are successful because they're born with natural talent or born into a better situation. And sure, some people are definitely luckier than you, no doubt about that. But focus on yourself. Saying other people are better off than you won't actually make you better off. Saying certain people are successful because of God-given talents or a more advantageous situation, that's unhealthy. I need you to believe that you are capable of growth capable of developing and learning new skills through hard work and developing effective strategies. We cannot control the circumstances that we're born into, but we are human. We're capable of being creators of our own futures, and we are amazing at solving problems and bettering ourselves. If it's important, we'll find a way. If it isn't important, we'll find an excuse. I want you to find a way. So. What about that high school kid who denied himself of the opportunity to attend an Ivy League? Well, I smartened up. When it came to applying for medical school, I was actually in a worse position than I was when I was applying for colleges. My college GPA was not as good as my high school GPA. And because I attended a public college with up to 500 students per lecture, it was quite a bit more challenging to get good letters or recommendations from the professors. But I didn't let that stop me from applying to any medical school that I wanted to apply to. I ended up getting into my number one dream school, which was UCLA, the David Geffen School of Medicine, a pretty high ranking school. Uh, and I got off a wait list. Here's another lesson about putting opportunities in your path instead of just waiting for opportunities to find you. Knowing that I was on a wait list, I wrote letters. I made sure I kept in close contact with the admissions office of my dream school. I visited the admissions office a few times, made my face known to the staff. I believed in myself, I persisted. It even got to the point where I got into another school on the East Coast. I flew there, I moved into an apartment. I was about to start the semester when I got a call from UCLA asking me if I would be willing to accept the position in the incoming class. I hopped to my butt on a flight back as soon as I could and the rest is history. Sometimes it really is about these big jumps that get you where you need to be. If you position the correct big opportunities in front of you, success becomes way easier. Again, you have to market yourself. And when you believe in yourself, it becomes so much easier for others to believe in you too. So do you have a growth mindset? Do you believe that success is given to people who are naturally talented? and shirk off any potential hard work that successful people put in? Or do you believe that you too can achieve a success if you work hard and seek out the right opportunities put, to put in your path? Let me know in the comments below. And that's all for today, my friends. Feel free to subscribe if you want to learn more. Share this video with a friend if you enjoyed today's episode. Happy investing and let's get financially savvy together.